Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path. So for the new year, I decided that we needed to start out with something super sparkly and super shiny and blingy. So the necklace I'm going to show you how to do today is called the Bling in the New Year Necklace. Now this necklace uses a lot of rivulets and a lot of crystals. So this is the original necklace that I made. Um, I actually made this as a um, memory piece, I guess. I had a really good bead store buddy friend um, who passed away suddenly, and I was having a really hard time kind of dealing with it because she was like a mentor to me. So I started working on this necklace as kind of just a way to you know get over this a few years ago. So this was the original one. And I love this necklace, except for the fact that I used bicones on the entire piece. And so what happens is when I wear it sometimes, um, the bottom of it can get itchy and scratchy because it does have the bicones. So I started playing with the pattern a little bit. The original component that I made is a pattern by a lady named Nakia, N-I-K-I-A, Angel. And if you've never seen her stuff, you definitely need to check her out. She's got a great Etsy website um, with some books. Her books are amazing and her kits are really great. But um, the original concept for that component was based off one of her projects. And I love the piece. And like I said, so you need to check her out. But I had to revise it a little bit when I went back to make it this time because of that scratchiness and itchiness. So, um, I've revised the pattern now to where it has 4mm fire polished on the bottom and 4mm bicones on the top. So, you really get the bling on the top where you need it. So, to do this pattern, you are going to need lots of 14 millimeter rivolies. The original necklace that I made, I think has 20, uh, 18 on it, um, 18, 14 millimeters. I've made 24 um, just kind of to lay out to see what length I want my necklace now. So, you know, anywhere from 18 to 24 is what you're going to need. You're also going to need a whole lot of four millimeter bicones, um, four millimeter fire polish beads, and I have almost used a whole 22 gram tube of regular size 11 seed beads. So for what I'm using today is I'm using a um, uh, silver lined crystal color is what I'm using. So that'll give you a good idea there. You're going to use one 18 millimeter rivoli, and then um, you're going to be using a lot of thread. Each component's going to take you about 24 inches, and um, I'm using the 1G in the white I used to make all of these. Um, and so besides that, you're just going to need a needle. So let me give you a kind of a heads up and show you what my bead mat looks like at this point. All right, so I'm going to give you a little um, look at my bead mat. Uh, it is, and people have been having a fit over it all day as they've been coming into the store. Um, and so you can actually see I have a lot of my components already made up and kind of lined along my bead mat. So that's the first thing that you have to learn how to do is how to actually do that component. And I'm going to be showing you on the 14 millimeter Rivoli. Then at that point, once I get that done, I'm going to show you the alterations you have to make for the 18 millimeter Rivoli. So to start out, I've got my needle threaded with 24 inches of thread. <clears throat> You're going to be using six fire polish beads. So if you want to go ahead and make you a little pile of six beads so you'll know, um, you know, when you get there. But all you're going to do is thread on a four millimeter fire polish and a size 11 seed bead six times. So once you get all of those threaded on, this is what it's going to look like. So you drop it down and tie it into a circle. 
We're not going to be using the tail thread for anything, so you can drop it down as low as you feel comfortable with. Now, the one thing you have to be careful is when you tie it into the circle, don't get the seed bead caught up in the knot. You have to be very careful about that. But I'm going to put about, about three knots in it, and I like to do my double knots here. And then I'll go through the size 11 seed bead right next to the knot. Thread on five 11s. Skip the four millimeter and then go through the next 11. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna put those seed beads around the outside. So you wanna do this around the whole piece, picking up five, skipping the four millimeter, and going through the next 11. So you'll keep doing that until you get back so to the beginning. So once you go all the way around, this is what your piece will look like. You're ready to step up to start the next round. So to step up, you go through the first three 11s that you added in a set of five. So right after I've gone through the last one, I'm gonna go through three more. Pick up five 11s, and you're gonna go through the middle 11 of the next set of five. So that's the third bead. So we're gonna do this around the piece, picking up five 11s, and then going through the middle bead of the next set of five. So it's that third bead. And I'm gonna keep going around and just putting these five beads in. so that I can show you as you work, what's gonna happen is this piece is gonna start to cup up a little bit. And that's exactly what you want it to do. So I am to the last little arch here. And if you turn it this way, you can see it a little bit better. I have my little set of five in the original row, and this was the first bead that I started with. So I have to go through that bead right there. A lot of people get messed up and they go through this first bead here that's right after it, because if you're looking at it this way, it can get a little confusing as to which one you go through. So I'm gonna go through this lower bead here because that's the middle bead that I started with. And then to step up, I'm gonna go through the first three beads that I added in this set of five. So I'm actually going through four beads, the middle bead and then three more beads so that I'm coming out of the middle bead of the set of five that I did in this round. So now I'm gonna set the Rivoli in and I'm gonna set it face up. And I'm gonna turn it to the side just like this because you'll be able to see it a little bit better. From where you're coming out, you're gonna pick up a four millimeter bicone. So I'm coming out of the middle bead of this set of five. So I'm gonna come to my next set of five beads that I added in the previous round, and I'm gonna count over three, and I'm gonna go through that middle bead here of that set of five. And it's very important that you keep the Rivoli in place, kinda hold it in place as you work because it's better not to put all the crystals in there and then try to get the Rivoli in. So I've got a bicone. I go through the middle bead of the next set of five there. And I'm just gonna go around picking up the bicone, going to the next set of five, and then going through the middle bead. And as I work, I can pull it tight and the crystal will kind of cup to the inside of it. And that's what you want, or the, um, the Rivoli, sorry. So go to the next set of five, and you can kind of stick your needle in that little hole there, and you'll be able to see your sets of five. 
but you're gonna have we started out with six fire polish on the bottom so just an FYI you're gonna have six bicones on the top so the same amount as you had on the bottom that you started out that first row with you're gonna have on the top so I've got two four five so I need one more for six so I come to that next set of five and it just so happens that that set of five is where I started so I'm gonna go through that middle bead which is gonna be that one right there so when I pull it when you first pull it tight, you kind of have to make sure you've got it centered and that that point is kind of centered on that circle here on the back. Now what you have to do at this point is go through the bicones and the 11s here in the center of the piece and you want to pull those threads tight. I try to go through these beads at least twice pulling the thread tight. Um, this helps to keep the Rivoli in place um, but also it helps to pull up any extra room that you've got so there's not a lot of extra room in the piece as you're working because you pretty much want these little what I call connection beads where the sets of five little diamonds meet you want those pretty much to be right on the edge of your Rivoli as you're doing this and that's how you can kind of tell whether you're keeping it centered or not. So go through these a couple of times, and then as you've gone all the way around, then I'm going to exit out of a crystal right in between my bicones, and I'm going to continue on through three beads. So it's two beads and then my little connection bead. And again, the connection bead is just that one bead there that connects those diamonds. So I'm coming out of that bead. I'm going to pick up an 11 a four millimeter bicone and an 11 and I'm going to go straight through the next connection bead so that that is going to cover up the hole that we have there so it's an 11 a four millimeter and an 11 go through whoop, there we go go through the next connection bead and I'm going to go all the way around adding those um, 11s, four millimeters and 11s. And so when you get all the way around, this is what your piece will look like. And I go through the outer beads one more time just to reinforce. And then you'll want to come out of any bicone along the outer edge so that you will be in position um, to connect your pieces together. Now, one thing you wanna know about this is do not cut off the threads. If you'll notice, let me scan back out here here for you. If you'll notice, all of my pieces still have their threads on them. And that's exactly what you want because if not, you're going to have to add thread to all of these and that can get very um, uh, tiresome. So just keep your threads on there and go ahead and make however many of those components you want in the uh, 14 millimeter. Then we're going to do the 18 millimeter for the center, and I'll be right back to show so you how to do that. there's only one big difference that you have to do for the 18 millimeter Rivoli, and that is we're going to start out with a different amount of our 4 millimeter fire polish. So on this one, for your 18, you're going to be starting out with 9 fire polish. So it's a fire polish and an 11 9 times. And the reason, let's see, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine. The reason I picked nine, I know nine is an odd number, but I tried eight beads in my initial circle and eight beads was too small. I tried 10 beads and 10 was too big. So it's kind of like Goldilocks and the three bears. We need it just right. <clears throat> so it's just a fire polish and a seed bead nine times. So when you get it, you've got two, four, six, eight, nine. And then from that point, you tie it into a circle and you do everything else exactly like we did with the 14 millimeter so Rivoli. So once you have your 18 millimeter Rivoli complete and all your other ones, you'll want to lay it out the way that you want it to look on your finished piece. And this is a really good point to where you'll be able to see if you like all your colors or you want to change something up 
For me, I'm happy the way mine looks. So I'm going to start out with the 18 millimeter Rivoli and I've still got my thread connected and it's coming out of one bicone. Now I'm going to grab the first little component here for one side and I'm going to take the needle. Right now my thread is coming out to the left and I'm going to pick up two 11s. I'm going to take my smaller component here. My thread, my working thread is exiting here. So I'm going to come to this um, opposite bicone and I'm going to go through that bicone going from right or sorry from left to right just through the bicone and pull that through. Then I'm going to pick up two more 11s and I'm going to go through the bicone that I was coming out of on the 18 millimeter Rivoli. I'm going to go ahead and go through that bead so that it will connect just like this with the two 11s on each side. And I will reinforce this several times. And then um, I'm going to leave, I'm actually going to leave this thread because on the next, when I get ready to do the next side, I'll be able to stitch to where I want it to add the uh, components to this side. But so now I'm going to take the needle, I'm going to put it onto this tail thread, and then I'm going to connect the next Once components. Once I got this <clears throat> connection reinforced several times, I used the center thread here and stitched over two bicones from where I was at. So that way this thread will be here when I get ready to connect the second side. Now one thing that you can do if you wanted to, you're more than welcome to go ahead and attach the components to each side as you work. It's completely up to you and what you want to do. Me personally, I like to just connect them on one side and then go back to the next side but it's however. So I threaded the needle onto this smaller component and you want to make sure it's directly opposite from where you did the first component. So again, I'm going to look at my new component. I'm going to lay it down so that the thread, that my leftover thread is opposite, so it's already in place. And we lay those two pieces down. Go ahead and put on two 11s and then take the needle and go through the four millimeter here on the new component because my thread on the old component was exiting on the left so I'm going from left to right and then I'm going to pick up two more 11s and I'm going to go through this component or this um, four millimeter bicone going from right to left so that it gives me two size 11 seed beads on each side of those four millimeters. And I'm going to reinforce this, tie this thread off, and continue going until I have the desired amount of components on one so side I've of the necklace. So I've taken all of my components for one side and I've connected them together. This one side has 11 components to it. Now you can mix and match your colors however you want them, but this is just how I've got mine. And I've got my needle threaded onto the last component for this side. And I'm ready to put the actual um, clasp, the first part of it. So I'm going to be coming out of the bicone opposite where I connected my beads. <clears throat> You're going to pick up seven 11s. And I'm going to let those beads drop down. I'm going to pick up the first part of my clasp. And then I'm going to pick up three more 11s. I'm going to count from my original seven. I'm going to count four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go just through that fourth 11 seed bead from the crystal. And I'm going to hold this and pull the thread. And when I pull it down, I'm going to pull it nice and smooth and tight here so that the clasp is moving and it's not pulled to where there's thread right there at it. And then I'm going to pick up three more 11s 
I can get a hold of my needle. And I'm going to go back through the four millimeter I started with, and I'm going to go in the other direction so that when I pull that, the clasp is directly above where that four millimeter bicone is. Now, if you don't like this connection process, you can do it any way you want to, but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna reinforce this connection several times and tie this Now that off. I have the clasp attached on this side, I am going to come back to the center and thread my needle onto this um, second bicone from where my I added the first component. Now I've already gone ahead and I went ahead and attached my second side components together. Once I knew exactly how many beads I needed, I went ahead and attached all these together so that now it's going to be just very easy because all I have to do is attach this, uh, you know, the small component strip to the big component and then put the clasp on and you'll have the piece finished. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the bling in the New Year's necklace. We do have kits available on our website at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com as well as the written pattern. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is one of the most expensive kits I've ever offered, but I tried to keep the price as low as I could considering that it used 315 Vicone crystals. You know, I think you get 24 14 millimeter Rivlies in the kit, so there's a lot of crystals in this kit. The cool thing that I really, really like about this piece is that it's versatile because you can really dress it up, or if you're like me, you'll just wear it with a white v-neck t-shirt and a pair of jeans. So again, it's as versatile as you want to make it. And with those fire polish beads on the bottom, it's very, very comfortable to wear. And I promise you, you will get lots of wonderful um, comments about this piece. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video for 2017. Be sure and come back next week when we're going to work a little bit more um, off of this brace or this necklace that we just completed. So I hope you guys have a great week. If you get a chance and you want to do some of these and you come up with something with this necklace, be sure and post it on our private Facebook page so everybody can see what you're doing. Thanks again. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.